welcoming you now to my first tutorial on isometric drawing. In a nutshell, isometric drawing is a way that designers draw 2D shapes in 3D forms to show three sides of the object. In this particular drawing, it is drawn to 30 degrees and you'll notice I've used this isometric paper. All lines on isometric paper vertically are nice and straight, but all the vertical lines are drawn at a 30 degree angle. And this helps us when creating our forms such as this one here. So before we start, I'd like you to draw for me out this cuboid. Note it is a cuboid and not a cube. If it was a cube, all sides would be exactly the same. Whereas a cuboid, you've got two lengths the same and these two lengths the same. In terms of measurements, this one down here is 70 mil. This one up here is 80 mil. And this one over here is 130 mil. Once you've constructed this cuboid, I'm now going to use a creative method and draw the Google Cardboard inside it. I'm going to take a pencil and a ruler and I'm going to start first of all with adding in our dimensions. Now dimensions are what designers use when they're saying the size of something and how it should be. And normally dimensions will be in mil, so there's no need to put the unit of measurement unless it is a different unit other than millimetres. I'm going to start over here on the width of this particular product or the depth of it. When drawing your lines on dimensioning, you're going to take a 3 mil gap between the actual product and where you want to start your line and you're going to go straight down. And again on the other side of this, because I want to know the width of this, I'm going to leave a 3 mil gap and then straight down. I'll connect these together, nice sharp pencil, draining the two. And then, just to make it right, you need to make sure that your arrows are fully shaded in. Don't leave them like this, okay? It's really important, especially if you're considering engineering next year, that we shade in our arrows. Now this measurement over here is going to be 70 mil, and if you're not sure, you can always check. Notice that each section on your isometric paper represents 10 mils or one centimeter. So there's 70. When dimensioning, you always dimension at the base and then to the right. It's just one of those rules that we try to follow here at Carhill. I'm going to take this over here and I'm going to do the length of this section of my cuboid, shading in fully the arrows and again leave it a 3 mil gap from the top. I'm going to take that all the way down like that. This measurement over here is 130 and again if you're not sure do get that measured. I'm going to put the measurements underneath the rows. And then finally this measurement down here, I'm going to take my ruler, I'm going to use this line here, I'm going to take that down and again from that nice and straight 3 mil gap across we go and across we go and that is our first bit on our dimensioning all done. Shading the arrows, shading the arrows and this measurement over here is 80. Now that concludes our first tutorial in how to get your grid and your cuboid drawn up with dimensions. In the next tutorial I'll talk to you more about hidden lines and added details.